minority business, uh, for one, we don't have as many legacy businesses that are passing on from one generation to the next. Uh, so that, that is, is really a trend that is sometimes hard to overcome. Innovation, technology, if you will, has only become more ingrained, not only in the automotive industry, but almost all industries. And the place where innovation, for the most part, takes place is fueled in this country are uh, academic institutions. And our schools, our historically black colleges, have for the most part not been a part of that process. Innovate or die is real. The fact that you have a good idea today may or may not be sustainable into the future. So keeping pace with technology, making sure our kids are exposed to state-of-the-art technology while they're in school so they get acclimated to the use of technology and how markets evolve, um, and get engaging with our kids on a global level. And our universities, our colleges, our educational institutions have to become space where people can engage in uh, play, playful ingenuity, meaning they can come in and they can allow their ma imaginations to, uh, to fly and learn to turn what they do well and what they like to do, what they enjoy to do, doing uh, into opportunities that will allow them to sustain themselves. So uh, HBCUs have done it historically and traditionally, and I think that we are, uh, should be able to do it better than anyone else because of our, our legacy.